Application of Special Right Triangles 30, 60, 90 degree triangle theorem. In a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is twice as long as the shorter leg and the longer leg is three radical three times as long as the shorter leg. So let's look at the triangle over here. As you all know, this is your 90 degree angle. So the side whichever is in front of this 90 degree, this is known as hypotenuse. Okay, and this is your 60 degree. Remember, between 60 degree and 30 degrees, uh, 30 degree is the smaller angle. So the side whichever is across or in front of 30 degree, we can draw a dotted line over here. This will be known as a smaller leg or shorter leg. Let me write it like this: shorter leg. This will be what? This will be your shorter leg. So the third one which is left over is whichever is in front of 60 degree. Since 60 degree angle is greater than 30 degree, this will be known as longer leg. So before you do any of the question related to 30, 60 and 90 degree triangle, you have to first of all label your triangle and apply these two formulas. When we write these formulas and substitute the values whichever are given in the question to make to solve this question and it will be very easy for you. This is a message from student to student uh, to remember the side relationship in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Uh, student Marcelo Melo from Johnson High School, he has designed this formula. I draw a simple one, two radical three triangle like this. So he has drawn one, two and three. So now, but the only thing to keep in mind is hypotenuse is your two over here. So what he did, he did two is equal to what? Two times one. So from the triangle, if you look over here, two is your hypotenuse. So this is your hypotenuse over here, equal sign. And two again, two times the shorter leg. So two times the shorter leg. Shorter leg over here is one because it is in front of 30. Another one, another way he did is second one, radical three can be written also like this, radical three times one. Okay, so in this case, radical three is what? Radical three is longer leg. So he wrote longer leg is equal to radical three times and one is what? One is your shorter leg. So this is also one other way to remember this formula. Finding side lengths in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Question says find the values of x and y. Okay, and give your answers in simplest radical form. So now when you look at this triangle, step number one, this is your 90 degree. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to draw an arrow. This is your hypotenuse in this triangle. Now you remember this is a 60 degree, I explained this to you. The side whichever is across to 60 degree, that will be a longer leg. So in this case, Y is yours what? Y is your longer leg. So I'm labeling the triangle, this should be a first step. And the third, third one is your short leg or shorter leg. Okay. Now, what we will do after this is you will first of all write both the formulas, okay? So both the formulas were this, hypotenuse is equal to two times shorter leg. I will just use abbreviated form SL over here. And uh, longer leg, I'm using short as abbreviated form LL is equal to radical three times SL means shorter leg. Now what you have to do after this is look in the triangle and substitute the value. So let's start with hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 16 over here. Or two times short leg is what? X, I'll write X over here. Uh, yes, I can solve this by dividing by two both the sides. So look here, I divided by two. So this will be canceled out and the value of x will be eight. Now I will go to the right side. Every time remember when you do 30, 60, 90, apply these two formulas. Now on the right side, long leg is y. So I will write, replace this by y is equal to radical three times short leg. Now short leg in this triangle over here is x, okay? But if you see over here, now I have the value of x. So I will take this value of x and I will substitute for over here. So my new step will look like this. y is equal to radical 3 times 8. So my answer is y is equal to 8 radical 3. Now uh, I will leave my answer like this because the question says leave the answer in simplest radical form. That's my simplest radical form. And I will leave my answer like this. This is my answer at this question again this question is an example of 30 60 90 case so step number one let's label the triangle this is a 90 degree angle so the side whichever is in front of this this will be known as hypotenuse 
okay and the side whichever is across to 60 degree look over here this and straight arrow is going like this this will be your what long leg i'm writing an abbreviated form and the side whichever is across to 30 look 30 degrees this one when you do this this is your short leg over here step number two write your formulas first what formulas both the formulas hypotenuse is equal to two times sl means short leg i'm writing in abbreviated form and this is your longer leg means ll is equal to radical three times sl i'm using the abbreviated form just to save some space and time okay all right now hypotenuse in this case is y from where i got y i got it from here okay equal to two times small leg or short leg short leg is x okay now at this point you cannot solve this question the reason is that this part because you have two unknown quantities one is y one is x so you will stop over here just go to the right side let's start working on the right side ll means longer leg that's my 11 let me plug in the value over here equal to radical 3 times sl short leg is x yes now i can solve this question i can solve this part or the right side part because i have only one unknown quantity so i will divide this by radical 3 this will be cancelled out and the value of x will be what 11 over radical 3 now remember you cannot leave your answer like this so at this point what i can do is either i can rationalize the denominator or i can use my calculator okay all right so let's go over here so i will type this over here 11 and divided by radical 3 so my answer is 11 radical 3 over 3 so i can write it over here or x is equal to 11 radical 3 over 3 so this is my answer for a value of x or short leg is equal to 11 radical 3 over 3 now am i done no i am not done because i have to find the value of y also so i will take this value of x and i will take this and i will substitute where over here so y is equal to 2 times 11 radical 3 over 3 now what you can do is you can type this in your calculator and you will get the answer okay now what i can do i already have this value i'll put the time sign and i'll put 2 and my answer is 22 radical 3 divided by 3 that's my answer so 22 radical 3 divided by 3 this is the value of y in this case and i will leave it like this and y is what y is my longer leg longer leg is equal to 22 radical 3 over 3 that's my answer okay let's look at question number three I, as i can clearly see this is my 90 degree angle over here and when you see 60 degree you know when you will be adding all of these three angles the total should be 180 so this will be your 30 so you can add all these three 90 plus 30 plus 60 will give you one 180 degree now the next step comes is label the triangle as you are aware this is your hypotenuse because this is across the 90 degree angle and the longest side okay and after this second thing you will need to find is the longer leg in front of 60 degree angle whichever is the side so in this case this is y y will be a longer leg i'm writing in abbreviated form and the third one left is what shorter leg or sl now whenever you are dealing with 30 60 90 your step number one is what your step number one is write all the formulas so i will write my formula hypotenuse is equal to two times sl and long leg ll is equal to radical three times sl short leg so let's substitute the values over here okay so let's substitute the values hypotenuse in this question is 11 radical 3 how i got it is over here is equal to 2 times small leg is what x yes i can solve this i have to only divide by 2 i have to only divide by 2 okay so x is equal to what 18 radical 3 divided by 2 so let me show you on my calculator okay i can easily do it it will be 9 but i need to show show you 18 radical 3 okay divided by 2 and it give me the answer 9 radical 3 so my answer is what x is my 9 radical 3 now let's go to the right side uh, long leg is y how i got it y is in the triangle over here is equal to radical 3 times sl that's your x 
Now please pay attention the value of x is what? The value of x is this which I will substitute over here. So y is equal to radical 3 times 9 radical 3. Okay, now I have to find my value. I always tell you use your calculator. So if in case your concepts of uh, working out with uh, radicals is not good, uh, it will really help you. Calculator will give you the correct answer. Radical 3 times, okay, I need to delete this. I need to come out of the radical mode over here. This is my 9 and that's my radical 3 and I need to close this over here. This is my close this and my answer is what 27. So y is my 27. So this means what SL short leg is what 9 radical 3 and my long leg is what y is equal to 27. That's my answer over here. So let's go to this one over here right side. Same steps over here, label the triangle. This is my hypotenuse, and this will be my short leg. Why short leg? Because it is across this 30 degree. Now, the remaining this angle will be what 60 degree, and this will be what this will be my long leg. So, what we do is we write the formulas as I wrote on the left side. Please always write the formulas. If you will not write the formulas, chances are if you do if you are doing this concept for the first time. You will find this concept difficult and you might end up with the wrong answer also. Hypotenuse is y. I got it from here. Y is equal to 2 times short leg. That's my 5. If this one was easy for me. The value of y is 10. Now do keep in mind y is what? This is your hypotenuse. Hypotenuse y is equal to 10. So let's go to the right side. Uh, long leg is x. How I got x is from here. Is equal to radical 3 times 5. Short leg is 5, it's given in the question for me. So my value of x is what? 5 radical 3, and I will stop over here. This is my short leg, and that's my answer. And in my next video, I will do some word problems on the application of 45, 45, 90, and 30, 60, 90 triangles. Thank you.